This is the Karnak Temple near Luxor in ancient Thebes. This temple was resurre resurrected for the god Amun. <laughs> the rams represented fertility, vigor, and it's located on the east bank of the Nile. This temple was resurrected in 1400 BC. Our first baptism took place in our mother's womb. That's where the first baptism took place. She breaks her water and we come into life. It's only through the Western massages that the Western church took that power away from her and said, I will baptize you. But in fact, that water represented the amniotic fluid of Mut, the spiritual mother. So we see this in the angelical realm of our ancestors. They saw that spiritual realm for us to understand to be a family, a holy family, meaning a natural head, a divine husband, a natural him, a divine wife. And we have the holy child. Every child is born from our mother's womb, including you. And by the way, I worship the Knights of Imhotep, not the Knights of Pythagoras. Mm. Right. So again, when we as true men, brothers and sisters, get back to with our ancestors and create a fraternal order out of what our ancestors did and not deify with our oppressors did, that's when we become men again. Mm. We became boys because we didn't know nothing beyond the slave master. So he nice. said, come here, boy, because he knew you knew nothing beyond him because he took that away from you. That's how the book the boy was defined. You become a man when you know your ancestral story over and beyond your oppressor and slave master story. Hotel? Hotel. 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 Either, either know an Asian story, well, a European story, yeah. but the African Nile Valley story is never told. Mm -hmm. Here the information is never told. That Ankh Manu is where Amun descended from heaven, down into the most holy place of the temple. Last night when I was showing you the lecture and I showed you Ra, precisely at during the time of the spring solstice mm -hmm. is the resurrection of Ra, mm -hmm. and it precisely at December the 25th, the winter solstice is the resurrection of Ra or the birth of Ra. So that's why you see in the Yule Tide those images of the European Jesus with the uh, sun behind his head at December the 25th with a star perpendicular to him and that star is Ceres that our ancestors called Sebel Sebdah. Mm -hmm. 